Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video I'm going to do three looks with the new Nomad Fuji 5 Likes palette. This is just a very very gorgeous color story and I really enjoyed working with it. I really enjoyed the Nomad Cosmetics formulation. It's so easy to work with. I will also show you some swatches of the palette right now. I think this color story is is just very very stunning. I really love the shade selection in this palette. It's a great mix of colors that I absolutely love using and colors that just take me out of my comfort zone just a little bit. But without any further ado, let's just jump into the first look I've created with this beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm so excited to use this beautiful palette for the first time. And for this first look, I'm really craving to use the three blue grayish shades in the palette. I think they look so beautiful and I'm going to do a very very dramatic look with them. I'm going to start with this shade right here. I'm not going to try to pronounce them. Um, I don't speak Japanese and I would just butcher these names. So I'm taking a little bit of it and I just start applying it in my outer corner. I really enjoy this shade. It's been such a long time since I applied makeup the last time. It was just so stressful the last weeks, but I just needed to get this palette because it's so, so pretty and the blues in it are just amazing. I also want to bring this shade very far in into my crease. It's so pretty. I I really really love the shade. Uh, blue is just my favorite eyeshadow color and this is a very pretty blue and it's very special um, to me. I don't think that I have blue in that tone in my collection. It's a very unique shade. I really really love the matte formulation from Nomad Cosmetics and this is a very very well done blue eyeshadow. It's a very good one. Ah, it just makes me so happy. It's so pretty. Oh my god. So I'm taking a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm just going around the edges of the shade. I think this is blending very well on its own but I definitely will use the pastel blue shade from this palette to blend it out even more. Now I'm going into the Mount Fuji shade, this very light blue shade. I really, really enjoy that. This will be an amazing inner corner highlight for me, but maybe for for blending it's maybe a little bit light. I mean, it helps blending the deeper shade out very well. But it's very light for a blending out shade. I haven't been wearing makeup for two weeks, I think, and eyeshadow even longer. <laughs> like, I really had no time for doing my makeup. So, this being the first time applying eyeshadow in such a long time, it feels so good. And then having an eyeshadow formulation that is that amazing makes it feel even better and it's so pretty. I mean, you can see now where the mid blue and the very light, almost white pastel blue blend together, it creates this very, very nice lighter blue shade. So I, I really enjoy these two shades together. It's so easy to work with. Like I, especially with this very colorful shades if the formulation is shitty. It is so stressful if you have to put in so much work to make the shadows perform in a way you want them to and that's not fun. Like I want the shadows to perform very well like these two do and I want to just have fun with it and the Nomad formulation is just giving that and that's amazing. So now it's time to use 
this very deep blue greenish shade. I just want to build up the depth in the very outer corner to make it very contrasty and very dramatic. So I'm just packing this shade in the outer corner and then I'm taking a um, small clean blending brush and I blend it into the shades we have already applied before. This is everything I wanted from this look today. I absolutely love it and I'm so excited to try out the shimmer shades in this palette because they're all looking very, very stunning. I haven't decided which one I will be using. I think this pink shimmer is just looking so gorgeous and so elegant. Then we have two deeper blue shades and this um, diamond fuji shade, which is also looking very, very pretty. I, I've already swatched this palette. This is why it looks so used. And the diamond Fuji shade is a very, very stunning topper shade. So I'm thinking maybe I will use um, one of these two shimmers and top this uh, diamond Fuji shade on top. The other option would be to apply this shade all over the lid as well and then top it off with them of diamond Fuji. I haven't decided yet because all of the shimmer shades in this palette are so pretty that it's very hard for me to decide which one to go for. So with my tiny blending brush, I'm going back into the mid-tone blue shade we've used um, in the beginning. And I just use a little bit of that to go around the edges of the very deep shade to blend it even better into into the very light pastel blue. Now I've said it a thousand times now, but oh, this just makes me so happy. Like everything is behaving so well. <laughs> like, oh, I just love shadows that are easy to work with, where I can get a very dramatic look very, very easily. Oh, so, so good. Taking the fluffy blending brush, we apply the pastel with, and I'm just going ever so slightly around the edges to perfect this blend. I will apply the same shades on my lower lash line, starting with the mid-tone blue shade. With a very, very tiny pencil brush, I'm going into the outer corner of my lower lash line with the deep blue shade. And then just with a little bit of the pastel shade on the blending brush, I'm blending out the edges. Taking the pastel blue and just pop it into my inner corner as an inner corner highlight. I'm also taking the pastel shade all over my lid. I will use a Diamond Fuji as my shimmer shade today. Finally made up my mind and I just wanted to be a little bit of a shimmer today so I'm using the pastel shade as kind of a base for this very very pretty chopper shade. Then with my tiny blending brush and the mid-tone blue I'm just blending together the deep matte and the pastel. This could also be a very, very nice all matte look, but I really want to try out the shimmer shades in this palette as well. So I'm picking up the Diamond Fuji shade on my finger just a tiny bit and I'm tapping this on top of the pastel shade on my eyelid. Okay, this is the first completed look. I really really enjoy it. It's very very pretty. It's totally my comfort zone. I know it's a little bit uncreative for me but there will be two more looks in this video with this palette where I definitely will play a little bit more with the other colors as well and where I will be getting a little bit more creative with color combinations but I'm just very very happy to wear this look the entire day today. I absolutely love it and I feel very very comfortable in a look like this. This is a very 
very stunning palette. I'm so excited for look number two and three now. For my second look, I really want to play with the warm colors in this palette. I want to play with the reds and yellows. And I actually want to do like a sunset eye look, but I want to do it as a halo eye look. So I uh, put the sunset in the outer corner and in the inner corner. And in the middle, I'm putting a nice shimmer shade. I'm starting with this red shade right here. I'm starting by applying it in the crease in the outer corner. I'm just starting by placing it down and then I will blend it on itself a little bit before I go in with the orange and the yellow to blend it even more. I'm taking the same shade on a smaller blending brush tapping out the primer again where it creased. I'm putting it right into my front part of the crease, like so. Taking the medium-sized brush I applied the red shade in the outer corner with without any additional product and I just want to blend this a little bit. Now I'm taking this shade right here. I'm taking it on the same pencil brush I've used before. So I'm just taking this shade and I'm really pressing it into the primer. Oh, I really enjoy this shade. I love that it has this purple undertone to it. I really enjoy that. Just blending without any additional product between the lighter and the darker red. Now I want to start blending the red out with some orange. Okay, I'm taking this orange on this very, very tiny blending brush and with very, very little pressure, I'm holding my brush at the very end. And with that, I'm just blending around the edges of that red. My plan is to smoke out the yellow very, very much in the outer part. I want the yellow to be very blown out. I'm going to also place it in the inner part of the eye look. I also will blend it a little bit into my eyebrow. It's time for the yellow and I'm going to pick the more intense looking yellow from the palette. And I start by using like a tiny pecking on brush with this. The thing with yellow is that it's very hard to make it show up on uh, the skin, on the eyes, because it's such a light color. So I start by pecking on the yellow in the area where I want it to be. And I mean, I can see it in the viewfinder. You barely can see the yellow. So by pecking it on, you definitely make it more pigmented. I'm taking a medium sized brush for blending it and I'm putting I'm putting even more yellow on that brush and I'm just starting to really, really blend this yellow out. If you recreate this look, maybe you just want to apply the eyeshadow before you do your brows. <laughs> Maybe, um, but I, as I said, I just will draw my eyebrows back on again. I actually used a orange yellowy blush and I just take my blush brush to just blend blush and eyeshadow together. Back to the packing on brush and some more yellow and I just want to pack it on more on this part of the eye and the nose actually. Taking the tiniest amount of orange again on this tiny blending brush to just blend between the orange shade and the yellow. So now I just replicate what I did on top on my lower lash line with the same colors, but I think I do not want to leave a gap on my lower lash line. I just want the same colors. Lower lash line is done. For the inner corner, I'm going with the very pastel yellow shade. Just popping it into the inner corner. Taking the same color and I'm just applying it 
like on my brow bone. And now for the final touch of this eye makeup look, I'm using the yellow shimmer shade right here. I've also used this as a face highlight today and I definitely have to re-intensify this again because we blended so much with a blush. I'm taking the shade on my ring finger and I'm just popping it into the middle of my eyelid where we just left the space for this really really gorgeous shade. Okay with my um, blending brush I've used for the reds I'm now going to blend over the edges. I just want to re-intensify the deep red shade a little bit. This is the look with all the shadows on. Now I'm going to finish up with some mascara eyeliner in the waterline and I actually think that I will apply the liquid liner from Lethal Cosmetics from the Suko and said I just think a burgundy eyeliner will go very very well with it. What do we think? Oh, like I don't like my hair today. I I don't know what to do with this. Like I ah, it is what it is. Okay, but what do we think about the eye makeup? I really enjoy it, but I have to say I don't think that the deep shade looks as deep on the eyes than it does in the pen. I feel like it looks lighter on my eyes than it than it looks in the pen. I, I actually wanted to start with the darkest shade, but then I already applied red. <laughs> then I thought, okay, I just leave the gap for the deepest shade so it should look very deep on the eyes, you know, if you start with the darkest shade. But I feel like it just doesn't look as deep as it does in the pen. I think I have to try it out a little bit more um, to see if, to see why that is. Uh, maybe I should have applied it first and then blend it out with the red. But I also intensify, re-intensified a steep shade like three times. And yeah, I, I just wish it looked a little bit deeper on the eyelid, but I'm still very happy with this look. I am going to enjoy to wear this the entire day. And yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump into the third and final look for this video. So for my third look with this palette, I'm going to start with the deep blue shade. I really want to use this again because in my first look I've started with the mid-toned blue and I just didn't get as deep as I wanted it to be. So at this time I'm going to start with the deepest shade and I really want to test out how deep I can get this look. I start by putting this shade into my outer corner and I'm really pressing this into my eyeshadow base so we get it very intense and I already can tell that this is way deeper and way more intense than the last time I applied it. So if you want to get these colors as deep and as intense as possible, you really should start with the deepest shade. I also want to bring it a little bit into my crease. So I'm also taking the shade and I'm putting it on my lower lash line and I'm really focusing it on the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm using the mid-toned blue shade and I'm putting it on a fluffy medium-sized brush and I use this to blend out the deep blue shade and I have to say this is one of my favorite shades in the palette. I really really love the this gray blue shade. It's very pretty and very unique. So I'm just using this to blend and I'm using a very very light and what I just realized that I, that I also wanted to play with the yellows in the front part but I left no space for them oh my god okay I just continue blending a little bit more and 
Then I also will just blend a little bit on my lower lash line. Okay, next I'm using the very, very pale pastel blue shade. And I just use a teeny tiny bit of it. And I just use it to make the blend even softer. And now I'm going to use the bright yellow shade and I'm putting it in the front of my lower lash line. I just picked it up on a pencil brush right in the front of my lower lash line. On a small blending brush I'm taking some of the mid-tone blue and I just blend between the yellow and the deep blue. Taking the pencil brush again and I just try to blend out the yellow ever so slightly. You do not want to over blend the yellow because then it, it just will disappear. On a small fluffy brush, I'm taking the pastel yellow shade and I just want to blend this in the inner corner and a little bit into the lighter and mid-toned blues in the front part. I really do enjoy this pastel yellow even though I'm applying it with a quite fluffy brush and I'm not packing it on it's still very very pigmented which is quite lovely for a yellow which is that light and pastel that it's that pigmented very good. With a pencil brush and some more of the pastel yellow, I just want to build it up a little bit more directly in my inner corner. For uh, the shimmers, I want to use one of these two, but I think for this look, I prefer this one. This has a little bit of purple in it and I just want a deeper blue shimmer in my outer part. So I'm going with this one and then I'm also going with the Diamond Fuji shade in the more inner part. Just apply these shades with my finger, putting the more deeper blue shade, putting it in the middle of my eyelid. And I still want the very outer corner, I still want that to be very matte and very deep. So I just apply this shade in in the middle of the eyelid. With the brush I applied the medium blue with, I just blend a little bit, a tiny bit around the edges of the shimmer shade, just so it blends into the deep blue. And then also on my finger, I will apply the Diamond Fuji shade directly in the inner part of my eyelid. And I have to say, I really, really like the Diamond Fuji shade. It's so pretty. It is one of these very, very nice topper shades. And I feel like it just will go with every look you do with this palette. And I also am wearing it as a highlighter today again. I think I wore it in the first look as well. And I really, really love it as a face highlighter. I really love it as a shimmer shade. It's just a very nice chopper. As you see, you can build this up very opaque so you can't see my skin shine through it. But you also can put, for example, the pastel blue down first, like we did it in the, in the first look. And it just um, will peek through ever so slightly and give this shade a little bit of a different shift and a little bit of a different tone and I really really love um, topper shades like this and I think this is one of my favorite shimmer shades in my entire collection because it's so versatile it can go with so many different blue looks or it doesn't even have to be blue it also could be used with a purple look for example or with a green look I just really really enjoy this shade it's very stunning okay so this is the final look i really enjoy it i will just put on some mascara line and the waterline and i will do my hair a little bit and then i will be right back okay this is the third and final look with the nomad fuji five legs palette now i have to say i really really enjoyed working with this palette first of all i really enjoyed the packaging it's very 
very pretty. I really love the oil painting feel to it. It's just such a pretty packaging. A lot of indie brands that even have a higher price point than Nomad, you do not get a packaging that is that amazing. I feel like if you pay a lot for your eyeshadow, for your makeup, you should also be getting a sturdy, good and also good looking packaging and that's and Nomad is giving you that for a price point that isn't even that high. You know, there are more expensive indie brands out there that do not give you good packaging. After the first two looks, I didn't know if I liked the quality of the deeper shades in the palette. But for the third look, I've also used the very deep blue shade and I have to say if you start with the deepest shade you can get it very dramatic and very dark so it just depends on what you want. Do you want the shades to be very deep and very intense then start with the deepest one and if you want them to be a little, a little bit more lighter, a little bit more variable, you just start with a lighter shade and build a deeper one on top. So that's just something to know. And um, I feel like if you if you know that, you can work around that pretty, pretty well. So I, for this look, I was able to get it very, very deep and very dramatic, how I enjoy my makeup. And I have to say, I love to work with Nomad shadows. These three looks have all been so easy to do. Blending was super easy with these shades. They just blend like butter. Also love the color story. The color story is so pretty. I get everything I want in this palette and even more. I get some blues. The blues are even very special for my collection. They are on the very grayish blue side. They're not super vibrant blues, which I also love. But these blues are a little bit more grayish and I don't have a lot of shades like that in my collection. So these blues are very, very special to me. I really love the yellows. Yellow is just one of my favorite eyeshadow color in general. I feel like if you have blue eyes, it just makes them pop. And these yellows are very, very good quality. And then we have this red row and the orange and these shades that they aren't in my comfort zone so much. I um, like to wear, with the exception of yellow, I like to wear more cool toned colors. That's just more of my style. So these shades bring me out of my comfort zone in a very nice way because like this is a little bit more of a purpley red. Also this red isn't super warm. And I think after I did the third look where I really saw that you can make deep shades go very, very deep and intense and that you can make them look like in the pan if you start with them and then blend them out. I think after that I can say that this might be one of my favorite palettes like top three at least of the year because this is this is just stunning it is just everything i want in a palette i'm so happy that my bangs are getting cut today because they are way too long and they are very annoying right now and let me know in the comments which look was your favorite i definitely enjoyed the last one the most it's just so much fun and it's so dramatic. I absolutely love it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!